Back on the news train, everybody. Chuck a chuck a choo! So let's talk about it. So interesting enough, Destiny is deleting two years of content think about this this is content that yes it's old yes destiny went free to play this is content that all the freebies got to play but this is also content that people paid for at one point including myself <sighs> i had to take a sip of my drink let that sink in guys let that sink in deleting content that people paid for at one point and now destiny 2 is becoming smaller because they're getting rid of a lot of content they're getting ready to full zones. I'm talking about full zones here. Full zones. And they're resetting all the weapons. So you have to grind for these weapons again. This is interesting. I quit Destiny 2 a long time ago. Because I just got sick of the business model and the practices. And now this makes me glad that I did. Because... I don't know. I don't like when games get smaller. I don't know their reasoning for it. I understand that it's old content, but it's still content. And it's game stuff that you could have still done and played at one point. And now they're resetting their weapons and they're doing all these crazy monstrosities. Like, I'm looking at the list and stuff and it's like, man... What is going on with Destiny? Now, like I said, I'm not too involved in the community anymore and all about the game like I used to be. So if you want to enlighten me, let me know in the comments below. But I just felt like giving my two cents saying that I don't know what uh, what what seems to be the case here. Uh, it's just crazy. Like, I'm just giving, like, my outside the wall. Like, I'm talking about, like, I know I read the article and I see what's going on and I see the backlash. But I'm saying, like, as far as, like, the high hard in-depth community that are still playing on the destiny actual forms and sticking up and doing the raids and like all the loots and like they're getting rid of raids too guys like the all that stuff like raids the black armory the freaking zones like i don't know dudes it's i guess maybe it's the point that i just don't care because i don't play no more but it sucks that if you guys play and you guys do care because this is content that's being delim deleted r.i.p destiny 2 is dead but I don't know. The next bit of news we're going to talk about is there is a rumor. Now, this is an official. We don't know the source and stuff like this because this was this is a rumor back when Switch was uh, made. There was uh, another model for the Switch and it was rumored as the Pro model. But we did get another model eventually, but it wasn't Pro. It was the Light. And obviously nobody cared about the light. Uh, you know, very few people did. I still think it's the stupidest thing to get. I mean, yeah, it's cheaper, but you're getting a lockdown restricted switch. You might as well just get the original switch so you can still play portable as the light is only portable. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get the hype with the light. And then now there's rumors that the pro model, or it's a new model, essentially, essentially, but. I'm thinking it's the pro model that's been rumored, and uh, and it's supposed to come out 2021, so sometime next year, we're going to either hear about it, or we can hear about it at the end of this year, and I don't know, dudes, this could be the pro, and if it's the pro, does it have more RAM, is it going to have a better processor in it, is it like a better a NVIDIA chip in it that can actually do better games, is this Nintendo's answer for the next PS5 and the Series X, like, think about it, dude, so, like, Nintendo's looking, and the Switch's been on the market for a little while now, and now PS5's coming out, and there's going to be third-party games that people might not be able to play, because the PS5 is going to be pushed, and the Series X is going to be pushed, and especially the PS5, so... There's going to be games that this little poor Switch is not going to be able to play unless it gets fully optimized for, which means less graphics and all that stuff. So maybe this new Switch rumored is the Pro and it's going to have more RAM and a better NVIDIA chip and, and still be backwards compatible with the old Switch, like in the old Switch games, but... um. For the most part, this will be like the their Nintendo's answer, so that way they can still get some multi-platform games on the Switch Pro. I mean, then you're gonna have problems though, because the Switch Pro is gonna be able to play those higher multi-platform games, and the other Switches can't. So I mean, it's a tough, toasty situation. We still don't know what Nintendo's aiming to do here, but um, 
they're Nintendo. They're the kings of innovation. They're the kings of making things different and making it normal and, and letting people uh, find out how things work and they try to copy. You know what I'm saying? So... Let me know what you guys think about that. And the next one we're going to talk about is just two quick announcements that came through. I'm, I know I might be late on it, but I didn't want to just make a video just based on those two announcements. I wanted to wait until a couple more news came out. And I did. Then we got the rumor of the Switch Pro. And now we got Destiny stuff being deleted. So I, I had more of a filler because I like to give you guys full videos full of all different big news coming out. I don't want to just do a video about one thing and then it's like two minutes long. That's just stupid in my opinion. So here's all the news. But the last, well, the last two things we're gonna talk about is Gotham Knights is coming out, uh, 2021, and it seems like Batman is dead. R.I.P. But I don't know if Batman's dead now. The interesting thing about this is this takes place in the Arc Arc Knight arc. Uh, it's too many arcs in my sentence, but it takes place in the 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 Arc Knight arc, and this is interesting because since it takes place there. Is Batman actually dead? Because if you played the game by Rocksteady, there's a secret where, like, he looks like he supposedly he blows himself up, but we don't know if he really blew himself up. And and they start this intro off with, if you really, if you if you're re uh, watching this, I'm dead. But we don't really know if he's dead. He could just be on vacation. I mean, this is Batman here, dudes, and um, he could be making a surprise entry in the uh, game. But we don't know. But that's Gotham Knights. You're gonna play as Batwoman, Robin, all the the Gotham Knights. They're getting together to fight crime. And it's Nightwing, and it's just really interesting. Um, it's made by Rocksteady. I don't think that, I don't know if it's gonna be an issue. Um, I mean, these guys know what they're doing when it comes to games, and um, I'm kind of excited. The graphics look amazing, and it looks like um, it just it just looks different. And, uh, and we know it's not going to be the com the combat of the 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 Batman game. Sadly, it's going to be a little different. Uh, and but we don't we don't really know much about it. Honestly, I keep saying oh because I'm trying to like it, it was just an announcement trailer, guys. Like we don't really know everything, so I'm just kind of like giving my opinion more along with the announcement. But the next one is um, Suicide Squad, kill the Justice League. And this one was different because this was just a straight announcement, no gameplay at all. Shown was was shown. At least we had a little bit gameplay with Gotham Knights, but we have no gameplay here with uh, Suicide Squad: Kill the Justice League. And this one's nuts because you got Harley Quinn, you got the Joker, you got the other two dudes, and then we see Superman. And Superman did some stuff, I'll tell you. He did some stuff, and it kind of like made me shocked. And I see where the direction they're going, and I see why they're doing a Kill the Justice League type theme. And and this one's going to be its own arc. This is not connected to the Gotham Knight and the other games arc. This is its own arc, own universe type thing. So it's going to have its own story and its own complications. And I don't know, maybe Batman appears in it or not. Who knows? But we do know Superman is evil, and that is insane. But that don't, I don't think this one's coming out until 2022, I think the trailer said. So it's like, man, I don't even give a shit until until next year when we see more footage. And then even next year, we're not going to get it. So it's like, ah, whatever. Anyway, guys, that is the all the news that we're going to talk about in this video. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Make sure you stay up to date with all the latest in gaming tech news and reviews. Smash that like. And as always, subscribe. God bless and peace. <coughs> Damn! Shock.